Hey folks, welcome back to the Prep, Set, and Go Checklist. Step three, creating your pages. We're going to talk about adding pages, removing pages, updating pages, and by that I mean uh, renaming them for a different purpose. So let's just take a look at our web editor and our storyboard. And if you stuck through the storyboard chapter previously, good for you. If you haven't gone through that, it's a little bit of a long video, a bit of a long read, but I really suggest you do it at least once just so you can get an idea of why we're doing all the, the preparation and it should save you a little bit of headache down the road and hopefully some troubleshooting even further down the road. But one of the first things I want to do is take a look at the pages in my document name list and make sure that their names, the document name sort of reflects the page and the page title because I'm going to be repurposing um, some of my existing pages, specifically the um, about page. It's actually going to be more about team members or about for zoo. So I'm just going to rename this the about page. I'm just going to call it uh, for zoo team. Okay. Oops, don't hit that. And I'm just going to uh, copy this here and just paste it over top of the about.htm just to update it seven pages. Yep, it'll automatically update when I rename a page. Cool. Uh, contact can stay as it is. Confirmation, photo slideshow is fine. Privacy is fine. Okay, services.htm, I'm going to repurpose for game schedules. Basically, I'm going to use the services page or keep it, but I'm going to rename it and use it for something different. And it's going to be for game schedules. So I'm going to change the name from services to uh, schedule like so and I'm also going to uh, rename it down here and I'm just going to sort of copy it from my storyboard page paste it over top and then away we go and you notice that any links to the uh, services page were automatically updated in any of the navigation components that I had by doing that okay site map can stay the way it is tournament results da -da 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 -da. okay good now we can take a look at um, maybe removing some of the pages that we're, we know we're not going to be using and we can compare our list to the list over here now there's an exception or two in in the uh, in the list that you may not be aware of so i'm going to tell you right now the numo.htm page if it's in there leave it there it's used by the add-on um, features your add-on components could be a a newsletter, a catalog. If you've given, if you added any of those additional features to your product, it's going to include a Numo page. Leave it in there, okay? Just don't delete it. It's not linked into any of the navigation, but it's used as a template to create dynamically generated pages. We had to leave it in there though because it needs to be in the root of the site. So long story short, don't edit it, don't alter it, don't remove it if it's there, right? The same thing for the manage account page. There are going to be certain pages in here if you have uh, numeral components that are added into your package. Okay. If you were just to preview them and you see anything to do with Numo, like any of these little placeholder bits of text here in your page, leave the page in there. Okay. Um, and that's really the only way you're ever going to know is by opening the page up and looking for anything to do with Numo. And this one's pretty obvious. It just It's, it's going to stand out in the page if it is a, a dynamically created page. This information here pulls information from a database and is loaded with account settings for the uh, um, one of the uh, Numo uh, account modules. So we're just going to close that down and we're not going to touch it. But for the rest of the pages in the site, um, I'm not going to use a catalog page, so I'm going to get rid of it. Okay, and I've gone through my list here, and I know I'm going to get rid of my FAQs page. And then I get down to this page one, two, three, four. These are actually column pages. Now the page two I'm going to be using, the page one I'm going to be using for a layout, uh, but not three or four. So you know what? I can get rid of these because I'm not going to use a three column or a four column layout. So I'm just going to get rid of them like so. Um, site map, storyboard, okay, everything else can stay. Great. Now I'm going to move on to adding new pages. Okay. Now here's the trick. We, we're going to use the about page. We're going to make a copy or duplicate of it, and we're going to create our upcoming tournament events page <coughs> right here. But we've already renamed the about page, so that's maybe just something to keep in mind. Uh, what, what did you rename it to? All right. So to create a new page, we simply, we're just going to uh, copy this because we're lazy, but I'm going to show you two ways to do this anyways. To create a new page, open an existing page. It could be any one of the pages that are included in your site, by the way. It could be any one of these slider pages here. 
It could be anything in the root folder. Okay. And by the way, if you have a pro package and you have a sliders folder, like so with all the different sliders, I would suggest you don't delete those pages because that's where you're going to copy or create new pages from that have different header components. We're going to get it. That's a little bit more advanced. We're going to get into that in a later, later tutorial. But for now, sliders folder, leave it alone. Okay. Um, so we want to create a new page. So we open up, if we want to create a new page based off the about, which is now the Frizu team page, just open up the Frizu team page, click on the file menu, select save as, and now you can type in the name of your page or you can go to your storyboard, 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 copy and paste the name of the page in here, just do a control C on your storyboard page, right? And paste it in here and then click on save, boom. But before we do that, you could actually change the title. We, I'm not going to suggest you do this right now. We're actually going to go back and change the title in a different method in a second here. So just hit the save button. And down at the bottom, you see we have upcoming tournaments. It's open in our editing window. And we still have the Frizu team page. So that page didn't get deleted or overwritten. It just created a duplicate or a copy of it. Now we go back to our storyboard. We're just going to go over here to our page title. We're going to grab that. We're going to copy that information. We're going to op go back to our upcoming tournaments page, right click somewhere in here to get the page properties. And then we're going to paste the Frizu upcoming tournaments. Now at this point in time, you can enter a page description and keywords if you want to. These are redundant meta tags used years and years ago, abused by search engine optimizers and uh, to the point where Google and pretty much every major search engine said, ah, forget it, we're not going to use the page description and the keywords. A lot of people still do just in case, but you could safely leave those two fields blank. They'll be removed from your page, or you could take the time to type in a page description or keywords. You can also come back here at a later date and add information there if you want to. But once you've put your title in there, click OK. If we go to the code view of our page and scroll to the very top, you'll see right here in the title, it's now been up to, updated to for Zoo upcoming tournaments. All right, so that's how easy it is to create a new page. You can also just do this just little trick here. Uh, select a page, do the copy and the paste. See how it was added to the bottom of the list, except it says for Zoo team did it a copy. Then you can just sort of do the upcoming, da, 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 you know, .htm sort of a thing right there. You can just type it in manually if you wanted to. I like the file save as method. Um, you can use either one. It'll work just fine. I just wanted to skip back to our storyboard page. Now we're going to create the uh, tournament results page. So we're just going to copy. We're going to open up page two, file, save as, paste, save, done. Back to storyboard, copy, open up page number one, file, save as, paste, save, done. You see these new pages are added to the bottom of the list down here, right? Okay. Now I'm going to go back and grab my, we've got a tournament results. So I'm just going to grab the uh, page title, copy it. I'm just using control C to copy. I'm going to go to my tournament results page. Page properties, paste, get rid of all this and OK. Back to my storyboard for Zoo book tea time, copy book tea time page, right click page properties, paste, get rid of and get rid of. And I know I'm going a little bit fast maybe for some folks, but um, I'm just repeating myself a couple of times here so you can get the whole idea. Right. And then when you're done, just do file, save all. Right. Of course, I created a blank page here with information, so it's going to add this new thing here. I can delete that later on. So we've created all the pages we need to launch our site with. Keep in mind, from the storyboard to whatever you're doing, you don't have to create a, a page for every single possible thing you want your website to do. Create enough pages to get your site launched. You can add more pages as time, go by, time goes on. And as a matter of fact, you're going to be doing that anyway. So that's just the nature of having a website. But we have enough pages now to get rolling with. Now we've got this page one, this page two, this numeral, this numeral counts. Um, I'm going to leave the page one and two because as I create more new pages, I might want those. So I'm not going to delete them. They're not linked into anywhere. So 
And you know what, if they were, I could just link, link them out. But I'm going to keep them in here for now, so as I create some more pages, I know where they are. So that's all there is to creating new pages. We had a nice plan, made it very simple to create new pages. We made sure we didn't have any typos. We were able to copy and paste page titles, document names to make it very quick and very painless. And as a matter of fact, uh, the page title, um, Welcome, is a very popular page title, by the way, because a lot of folks forget to update it. By getting into the habit of, of creating a new document and then doing the page title right away, even if it's something you want to go back to later on to optimize, that's cool. Just do something to start with so that you don't forget.